You want to know an unpopular opinion? I didn't like the Mandalorian. I'm like the one guy in the world that didn't like the Mandalorian. I feel glad for you not having to watch the newest trilogy. <laughs> That shit was a train wreck. Imagine having the one of the best trilogies ever created, like the most well known and all that. Maybe not the best storytelling wise, but the most well known trilogy in the world and fucking up the newest one because you couldn't get the same actor to make the second movie. Bro. How incompetent do you have to be to fuck it up that bad? But I know people, I know people who think it's not that bad. They, they like love it. They're like, oh, the third movie fixes everything. The second movie did bad. And, oh, I was crying and stuff. And it's like, I don't know about that chief, but if you liked it, then hey, that's good for you. I'm glad you liked it. I wish I could find enjoyment like that. But there's just some things that I can't find enjoyment with that other people can. They killed it on purpose. Why though? Why would you kill it on purpose? They're trying to sell stuff. Why would you kill something that makes you money? And they just they just spent a fuck ton of money to buy the rights to Star Wars too. So why would you want it dead? Let me talk about the Mandalorian though. I won't spoil anything because neither of y'all seen it, but it's it goes like it goes from a story perspective like a you know like each story is connected to each other it goes like that for the first couple episodes then it goes I think it's called episodic it goes episodic and then it goes to like freeform to where it's you know you could watch these next couple of episodes any way you want and it's still it's like condensed stories inside each episode and then it goes back to the to the main story i don't have a problem with that but what i have a problem with is they made this they made the mandalorian seem like a badass but it gets his ass kicked all the time and that's what i hate i hate shows that do that i hate it so much because they're like oh this guy's fucking sick Dude, he killed like every, he could kill like everyone in a bar. He walks into the bar and everyone stops and looks at him and he just kills them all. And they got some crazy looking guys in that bar too, dude. But then next scene, he gets fucking bodied by a bull. Like, are you, come on, man. Is he supposed to be cool or is he supposed to suck? Cause he can't have it both ways can't have him be a badass and then every person he meets he gets bested by he gets bested by fucking sally sue over there that comes out of nowhere first time seeing her oh i know uh. and then some of the story aspects like some of the story aspects just seem like they don't connect very well uh, people are able to look past that and enjoy it and i kind of wish i could i might go back and watch it again just because maybe it gets better. I stopped at like episode four or something. Maybe it gets better, but I, I kind of, I want to watch it because everyone talks about it, how good it is and stuff. And I think Star Wars could be a really good series. It, it has the potential, but if also feels like the entire series was meant to die after the original trilogy was over like you could have your past like the past trilogy is fine because that's explaining how darth vader was created but the original just seems like that was supposed to be the end and it's really weird i don't know it's a really weird feeling that they continued after that so hard i've heard but don't listen to me they still got the money don't you worry that's how I feel about the Dark Knight trilogy. Everyone loves it, but the movies make Batman sound like a badass, but never freaking show it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen the Dark Knight trilogy in so long. Imagine, imagine uh, having it say that you're a badass, but you get 
your ass kicked by everyone. Imagine if Batman just like walked like if Batman was fighting just some normal thugs and he gets beat up. That's what it feels like watching The Mandalorian. If they have scenes with Batman normally, but he gets beat up by a couple thugs. I don't know. I was watching Star Wars Visions. Before, I didn't have a lot of hope in the series. I love anime, by the way. I love just the art style of animation. No matter where it's from, I just love animation and how it can bring images to life. But when I before I watched the Vision trilogy, which if you didn't know what that is, it's a bunch of different anime studios worked on making a uh, making a short little Star Wars show. And it's like episode it's like one episode is all that's condensed in that story. And it's some can be 13 minutes long. Others can be 20, 20 minutes long. And some of them, you can like see the potential for greatness. And that's some that's that potential is something that I haven't seen in so long because it's been clouded by just money hungry fucking whores it's been so long since i've seen such good potential for storytelling but there was one episode where it was like they had uh this girl it's like what the original trilogy should have been it was this girl uh long story short these people these potential jedi were waiting on a uh waiting on some new lightsabers and these were like the last potential Jedi ever and this is after the Sith already took over and control everything and this girl was super strong with the force and she has a father that made a bunch of lightsabers they go up to the she goes up to the ship her father gets captured she transport the lightsabers to everyone and they're all standing like in a circle around her and the lightsabers come out red because the lightsabers were are transfixed on how you're you know emotionally are and what type of skills you have so they all turn red because they're all sith and it was like a trap uh it was a trap set by them they killed all the people that were coming to collect the lightsabers and surrounded them and that I, that was really good storytelling that was really good it was like out of out of nowhere you didn't think they'd have a twist like that in a 20 minute episode but they did they pulled it off really well i think that's what the franchise is missing just really good storytelling like that i think it could be on the it an episode like a a series like that if they were to go through with it it could be on par with something like the avatar where this girl is trying to learn how to control the force and all that through seasons and then you have like your you have like the fourth season fourth season or third season be expected endpoint. don't try to carry this the series longer than its lifespan entails have like a set endpoint that it that it needs to hit and know where the story is going to go for the entire time and then hit it there where it's supposed to go don't try to make it longer or shorter than what it's supposed to be that's good storytelling at its core knowing when to start and end and how to carry out the entirety of the story. <laughs> uh, see, the thing with Star Wars is they were, ref okay. They are 70s product made with love. You can't replicate that. Exactly. Everything recently seems just like fucking, like they don't care. Like they, they are really money hungry. I'm eating eggs and drawing on my tablet. Nice. I like boiled eggs. If you have some salt and pepper to dip it in, those are pretty nice. Honestly, might boil some to talk about it. I need Spider-Man Deadpool in anime format. I'll pay money. <laughs> they already have both of those in anime format. <laughs> Maybe not anime like overseas, but they have animation of it. Western animation. You just made me remember how much I hate Ray. <laughs> they are not made for the story. They are made to make money. I agree. Storytelling needs a guideline how to carry itself out. Exactly. It really does. You can't have that episodic format. You can't have that. 
between like how the Mandalorian has, but it just the storytelling didn't feel coherent enough for my liking. Other people's just kind of I my first impression for uh, storytelling why everyone loves the Mandalorian was because it has been so long since there has been any inkling of good good storytelling with Star Wars. It has been such a long time. And people and whenever something comes out that's even slightly good, they're going to praise it because they've been so thirsty for something to quench their their Star Wars hunger. It's like, oh my God, it's kind of good. <laughs> get more, get more, 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 more. I need more. Even if something sucked a little, it would still have been better than, uh, it still would have been better than the original trilogy and people would have loved the fuck out of it. 